It's time for round five in the Rush vs. Grammys series. Rush for the Grammys and the Grammys won. Rush for the Grammys and the Grammys won. Well, it's been an interesting ride so far. It's interesting to go back in time and see who these artists were that defeated Rush every single time they were nominated for a Grammy. Some are debatable, but others, at least to me, are downright atrocities <laughs> as far as um, Rush losing. But being that the case, uh, we'll continue on this series, and there are two more, and today we're going to consider the fifth time that Rush was nominated for a Grammy. This time it's the year 2008, and the category again is Best Rock Instrumental, and the nomination for Rush was Malignant Narcissism, which is the inst one of the instrumentals off of Snakes and Arrows, which came out in 2007. There are three instrumentals on that release. One was the main monkey business, and the other was Hope, which was a guitar solo acoustic by Alex Lifeson. But for this Grammy year, uh, 2008, they decided to nominate Malignant Narcissism, which is um, a two minute plus exercise in uh, bass, drumming, and guitar. And they went up against, amongst others, the winner of that category, which was Bruce Springsteen. And Bruce Springsteen uh, covered a song called Once Upon a Time in the West. And this song came off a record of covers, which actually Metallica was included. They did a cover in this ensemble of covers, uh, let's say, dedicated to a particular Italian director. And the name of the record is We All Love Ennio Morricone. So a bunch of artists got together and they covered some songs of his. And Bruce Springsteen did Once Upon a Time in the West. So again, this, the category again is best rock instrumental. And whenever I hear that category name, I think it's going to be a rocking song. Now I've never heard this song before. Uh, at least I don't think I have, as I usually say, sometimes I'm right. Sometimes I have heard it before, but we'll see how this song goes. So this is the winner that we're going to hear. All right, let's hear Bruce Springsteen's cover of Once Upon a Time in the West from the album We All Love Ennio Morricone. And just before I play, just want to say that I'm not a fan really of Bruce Springsteen. I think his music is, it's just not my style as far as what my preferences are. I'm not really a straight ahead of rock and roll fan. So I think a lot of his songs are very poppy, pop, like pop rock, straightforward, the simple four, four beat, four by four, four over four, <laughs> regular beat type music, um, mostly. Um, so... You know, I'm not really a fan. I do like some of his songs and, you know, I think he's a good artist. He's very famous and all that. Give him his props. But I'm going to give it a shot. See if this song that we're about to play that was the winner for 2008 Best Rock Instrumental, worthy of a Grammy or maybe someone else in that category. In this case, Rush's Malignant Narcissism maybe should have won that category. So let's give it a whirl. All right. Here we go. So far, it doesn't sound like a rock song. Ready?
not a rock song. There is an electric guitar. Okay. Okay. So that was, to make sure my hair is right, let's read it how it was presented to us. So this was the 2008 Best Rock Instrumental winner. This was the winner. So it, it was Bruce Springsteen, and it's called Once Upon a Time in the West. Okay, so I'm going to take a, a step back a little bit. So... If no one knew who Rush was and no one knew who Bruce Springsteen was, maybe we go, but, you know, maybe someone who has heard about rock and maybe knows what rock is or what rock music sounds like. And they would play both of those songs to that person. So they would play Malignant Narcissism, which is Rush's instrumental, and then they'd play Once Upon a Time in the West, uh by Bruce Springsteen. So who do you think they would um, pick as a rock song? Or what do you think they would pick, which song would sound like a rock song? No question they would pick Malignant Narcissism. That sounds like a rock song. The category is best rock instrumental. So my question is, why is this song in that category? Now, the song is beautiful. I mean, it's a beautiful song. Um, I just think it's in the wrong category. It should not be in this category. It's not a rock song. Bruce Springsteen plays guitar on it, apparently. I think that's what his, his role is in that, in that song. Um, obviously, it's not his originally, but that's yeah, okay. Um, you can cover a song, a rock instrumental. <laughs> but um, in any case, he, he had some part in it. I think it was the guitar part. Like I said, I don't know much about the song. I'm just basing it on my first time listening experience and what I know about Bruce Springsteen. And what I know about the category of best rock instrumental. So we have here a case of mistaken identity, I guess. I think maybe he was nominated in this category because it's Bruce Springsteen and he's a rock artist. So they put the song in the best rock instrumental category. And Bruce Springsteen is pretty popular, pretty, pretty famous. So he won. Interestingly enough, on that same record, Metallica also does a cover. I didn't hear it. I don't know. And I don't remember if that song was nominated or not uh, the same year. Maybe they were, maybe they weren't. I, maybe I'll look that up later. If I feel like it, I'll note it in the comments or on that screen right there. Metallica is a rock band. And if, they, if it was an instrumental, they could have won too. I, I just don't think this is, this is, it's not a rock song. It's not a, a song to be put in a rock instrumental category. So this song is miscategorized, and it, it should not have won. It, it sounds like it's a song from a score, like from a movie. And maybe that song originally was in the score of a movie. And um, in that case, you know, if it sounds more like, a, like an Oscar song, like a song that would be nominated for an Oscar for best song in a movie. And maybe that could be, you know, that could be the place for the song. But... To be nominated for a grant, even nominated for a Grammy for Best Rock Instrumental and it actually winning uh, when there is a song like Malignant Narcissism 
in the same category where that's actually a rock instrumental. Pretty good one at that. Um, yeah. <laughs> Dang it. I think I'm going to unfortunately have to say that the Grammy stole from Rush yet again. If it was those two that were the last two, Rush's song should have won that. I don't see any reason why this song should have won Best Rock Instrumental. In the previous part in this series, part four, where I waxed poetic on a Brian Wilson song, Mrs. O'Leary's Cow, I didn't think that Rush should have lost that category either that year. But I did get a few inter interesting comments in the comment section of people defending the song. And, you know, they made some good points. I still didn't agree, you know, in the end. I still think Rush should have won uh, that time also. But at least you could consider Mrs. O'Leary's Cow a rock song. But, you know, compared to this, it's a heavy metal song. <laughs> Mrs. O'Leary's Cow is death metal <laughs> compared to this song, Once Upon a Time in the West. I mean, there's no way that this song uh, by Bruce Springsteen um, or, you know, with Bruce Springsteen's participation, his stamp on it, that should have been nominated for Best Rock Instrumental. So I'm going to conclude that for this part, in 2008, Rush should have won Best Rock Instrumental with their song, Malignant Narcissism, over Bruce Springsteen's song, Once Upon a Time in the West, which is a dedication to Ennio Morricone. So there you go. That's my take on Rush's fifth nomination for a Grammy. I think they should have won it. This song should not. This song by Bruce Springsteen was not even a rock song. So there's some shenanigans going on that year to not only nominate the song, but also win it. Maybe there was some sort of nostalgia relate, you know, that had to do with that song. But Ennio Morricone was still alive at the time. He died in 2020. So I you know, I don't know the backstory behind that, but it almost doesn't matter what the backstory is. Once Upon a Time in the West is not a rock song. It's not a rock instrumental, and it should not have been in this category. Rush should have won. Anyway, I'm Omar, all about Rush. We'll see you in the last part in this series, part six, in the next video.